we have a little sense, Jill and I, what it's like to lose a home. Years ago, now 15 years ago, I was in Washington doing Meet the Press. It was a sunny Sunday. And lightning struck at home on a little lake that's outside of our home, not a lake, a big pond, and hit a wire and came up underneath our home into the heating ducts, the air conditioning duct. To make a long story short, I almost lost my wife, my 67 Corvette, <laughs> and my cat. But all kidding aside, I watched the firefighters, the way they responded. You know, there's no expression. I grew up right across the street from a fire hall in Claymont, Delaware. And the expression is, God made man, then he made a few firefighters. You're all crazy, thank God. The only people who run into flames to help other people. And they ran into flames to save my wife and save my family. Not a joke. The smoke and the firefighters here can tell you sometimes smoke is so thick from the windows out, it was that thick inside the home. And we were, we were insured. We did not have any problem. But being out of our home for a better part of a year was difficult. I can only imagine what it's like to lose your home completely, burned to the ground, and more importantly, all the things that matter to you from that ring he gave you when you were 19 years old, from that special letter that came for your son or your daughter, the little things that matter most, the album, the family albums, all of it is a touchstone to all the things we care about and lose. And many of you have lost more than just that. Many of you have lost family not even sure where some are. I've had a similar experience. I was a young senator being taken care of, not a joke, by Danny Inoue, who was my mentor. I was 29 years old. I wasn't old enough to be sworn in as a senator yet. And for, by the way, for 36 years, I was listed as the poorest man in Congress, so I didn't get there based on my income. And what happened was, I was down in Washington interviewing for staff. Before, after I was elected on December 18th, before I was sworn in. And I got a phone call from my fire department saying they had to come home immediately. There had been an accident. A tractor trailer had broadsided my wife Christmas shopping with my three children. She was killed, my baby was killed, and my two boys were thought not to make it initially. So I have a little bit of a sense of what it's like driving from Washington to Wilmington, 150 miles, wondering what in God's name is it going to be like when I get to the hospital. 